I have some brickwork here which is cracking you can see the crack running down the wall there and some points where my father has patched it using cement mortar the correct mortar to use is lime mortar so I'm going to try and put some lime mortar in there and repoint the brickwork and it's also a trial for the mortar mix and also use of it in other areas so I'll knock some of the mortar out to release that top brick because that's quite loose and then I'll continue down to the first vertical join and that'll be for the trial I'm using a small plugging chisel So it's quite loose now, the brick is just this section in here holding it. Yeah. Now the next job will be to clean up the brickwork here of the original mortar and indeed this brick and also to remove the mortar from this top joint as well. Oh, so I'll get the bigger plugging chisel for that one. Okay, now we'll go over to a standard chisel. My large cold chisel seems to disappear, so I'm using this smaller one. It's not a big job, so. This being lime mortar comes off very easily, but not all of it. Being lime mortar, this generally comes off fairly easily. But not always. There we go. This is an area where there's been water dripping down from a overflowing guttering. what's caused the lime mortar to start falling apart. If I can get my lime mortar to stick as well as this, sticking to this brick, I'll be very happy.
Okay, we've got most of the mortar out there. It seems to have stuck very, very well to the top of this brick. A bit on this one too, and in the frog. But um, nothing much in there at all. That was very loose. So this area, and the top of this as well. So it's interesting how well some of it's adhered and some hasn't. This house is a California bungalow, it was built in the late 20s and uses lime mortar almost exclusively except for a bit of cement mortar on the footings. I'm used to mainly using cement mortar so this will be a bit of an experiment in the use of lime mortar in mixing it and getting it to do the right thing and then if it works successfully here where I've got good access I'll start repointing some walls with it later on anyway um, the next shot you'll see is cleaning up the brick this slime water is proving to be very interesting stuff it's, um, some parts come off very easily like that and others you've really got to chip away at it. They're quite well adhered to the brick. So the, the consistency of it seems to be all over the place. It's come off nicely like that. The other bits don't. Anyway, we won't bore you with all this. I'll let you see the finished product. The cleaned up brick. The mortar was harder to get off on the back side of the brick than it was on the frog side. Which showed that it adhered very well there and it didn't need this extra depth. Uh, this is the top front of the brick. So looking as they were uh, laid from the same side as I was showing you when I was removing the brick that means it was frog to frog and back to back on the brick rather than them all being laid in the same direction uh, which I was surprised about anyway I'll show you the mixing of the mortar next okay I haven't removed all of the previous mortar on these faces as I'm trying this as an experiment to see how good things grip in the lime water department when uh, repointing so I've managed to clean that brick up very well but with repointing you're not going to be able to get every bit of the original mortar out so I've decided to leave the little bit that's left on the side here which is stuck really well and on these faces some of the original mortar and as this access is really good here just see how strong this joint becomes and then um, base all my future uh, repointing work on that this is hydrated lime which I've had soaking in water for 24 hours and I'm going to use a two parts to three part mixture so that's two parts in this case two jars of hydrated lime to three parts sand I know you can go as low as one part lime to three parts sand but I'm going to try the two three proportion and see how it goes so I'll give that a mix now okay that's our mix 
I had to add a little bit of extra sand actually because I thought it was getting a bit too wet. So I don't think it would be in proportion of one and a half to three uh, line to sand. Anyway, we'll give it a go. Okay, well there's the finished joint. I found it quite difficult to get the mortar to support here in these outer regions because there's nothing underneath it. And I was beginning to think that perhaps they used some sort of formwork to keep the mortar up. Uh, I ended up towards uh, the end of the job when I was doing those end pieces putting just a little bit more sand in the mortar to make it a bit firmer. But it was still very workable and it's all looking reasonably symmetrical at the moment. Now from what I understand it takes this lime mortar a long time to set and it's not a bad idea to keep it moist as it's setting. So we'll give it a, a while and see how it goes and if it's got enough strength then we'll go over to the repointing of the joints. The brickwork's going to need cleaning up a little bit too. But anyway, fingers crossed though. Eh?